Hello, this is Bishop Garland Hunt. This is the Power of Hope Devotional. Good to have you today and a wonderful season to be alive. Wonderful time to be alive because, you know, the, the enemy is, is coming on like a flood. I mean, seriously, he's trying to pound and pound and pound, but he's not going to get control of your life. You're going to withstand it and you're going to continue to do the will of God and you're not going to let nothing inside of you waver. That's right, because if you're weary and well-doing, you will reap if you faint not, in due season, I should say. So listen to this, you, if you're weary, be not weary and well-doing, for in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. So don't you stop. Don't you stop what you know to do. The state of church is a lot of people are stopping. And they're, 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 they, they, the scripture talks about how they would, um, you know, they, their soul went to church. We got to win souls. You got to win souls. The, the scripture says in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 30, he says, he that winneth souls is wise. He that winneth souls. Well, when was the last time you led somebody to the Lord? I mean, just honestly, tell the truth. Just shame the devil. Tell the truth. When was the last time you won anybody to the Lord? I mean, you just literally did a salvation prayer. You brought them to the Lord and they came into the Lord and they've been living for the Lord since then. How many people? That, what do you think? What, how long has it been? I'm assuming that you have before, but how long has it been? So it goes beyond that. And then if you go over to John chapter 4, and Jesus says, my nourishment comes from doing the will of God. Well, we knew that. that that's his meat. That, that's his meat. And, 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 uh, and actually, in the in living, uh, King James says, my meat is to do the will of the him that sent me. See, my nourishment comes from him from the, the willingness of God. Hey, listen, you know, do you have, to, to my nourishment, do you have the appetite for God? Do you really have an appetite for more of him? Because what I'm finding is that people may not even have an appetite. I think I want to pour out my heart. I want a discipleship, a discipleship, more training, all these things. But the real question is, do they even have a heart for it? Do you even have a heart for more of God? Do you want to learn more? Do you want to study more? Do you want to understand more? you have a greater revelation? Uh, what 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 is what's prevalent as opposed to some narrative that you see on television that you kind of agree with and you don't even know the basis of what they're saying? What they're saying basically is that we don't need you, you Christians. We don't need you. You're just judgmental, and no wonder you know this uh, trans gay woman try to come into a place and shoot up people. Why? Because it's a Chris Covenant school. Because it's a grace. It's a grace school. So, so no, we do what was called. So, it's, so she it says here. So, um, say that that you you know the saying: four months between playing, planting a harvest. But I wake up and look around. The fields are already ripe to harvest. See, the fields are already ripe. No matter where you're going, they're already ripe. Just look up. Just just look up. They're already ripe, ripe to harvest. They're ready. They're ready. Don't, don't don't you let anybody come around you and try to tell you that you can't win somebody to the Lord. You can win somebody to Jesus. You have the anointing to do it, and you will do it. You will do it. And then it goes on first that the harvesters will pay good wages and the fruit they harvest is, pe is people to eternal life. Well, they 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 got good wages and they still are harvesting people, which is eternal life. And then it goes on further and says, um, "What joy awaits the planter and the harvester." See, one plants, one harvest. So some of what you harvest is not some of your work. you saying that one plants, another harvest. And it's true. I sent you to harvest where you did not even plant. He'll send you with places that you did not even plant, but you harvest just the same. You harvest just the same. See, see, God is so incredible that he's setting this thing up right one to another. <clears throat> and you don't have to give in. You don't have to give in to the culture. You stop it. You say, I'm standing by the word of God. And part of what I'm supposed to do is to save the loss. That's it. Part of it is what I'm doing. And just like I said, that joy jump upon me for the planter and the harvester alike. And it said, it sent you the harvest where you don't plant. And others already do the work. And so the same thing, you can do the work, come, come in later and get the same result. That's right. Some people do the work, like myself or some of you that are on this line. You do the work in God publicly, but you don't you don't stay around for for the for the uh, blessing. Got to do both. You got to do both. You have to do both. Listen, my time is out. I want you to understand that 
that God's called us to be a soul winning church. That one of the problems of the church is that we're not convinced of the, of, the, of the calling. You're not convinced of the calling. Because if you were, your testimony would be sure. And if you were, you'd be telling people about the love of Jesus. This is Bishop Garland Hunt, Powerful Devotional. I'll talk to you later.